Are we rolling? I think we are rolling. Hey, welcome back. Uh, feeling much better and more energy than the, uh, in the previous video. Uh, so, although some of the symptoms of the COVID are still kind of wee bit running somewhere, I have the brain fog and sore throat and out of breath and headache and whatnot, but still, <coughs> sorry, feeling much better. Hey, today, um, kind of a continuing uh, my last video, we are going to taste today what Jonas Walker from BSP Homebrew sent me in his beer mail. Super exciting. I, um, yeah, I haven't tasted yet. So, specimen number one. So here we go. Smash. Yep. So, this is a BSP Homebrew Smash beer, 100% Marisotter and about 200 some grams of um, Citra. Citra and Marisotter uh, Smash beer. And if you are not familiar, the Smash stands for single malt, single hop. Nothing funky here. No multiple grains or multiple hops. One grain, one hop. Without further ado, let's get her open. Here, can I say that? I think I can, this is my video. All right, there was a small hiss. All right. Even my uh, COVID nose is getting uh, the citra there. And I have a nice coaster here, also familiar from the previous video. These are like super nice. The only sad thing is that Jonas sent me also a very nice pint, uh, but I don't know where it is. I actually uh, went through the whole house, so somebody has started using it. Uh, I blame the kids. So it's somewhere, but I couldn't find it. Uh, that's a shame, really a shame. That would have been a perfect addition here, but you know, it is what it is. And life with kids is that things go sometimes missing. I'm sure it will be uh, found at some point. All right, chaka daka daka. We have carbonation. A bit more aggressive pour, a bit of a head. Oh, nice, nice, nice. All right, so where did I put the flashlight? Jeez, uh, jeez. All right. Look at that. Very nice indeed. That is some serious. You cannot probably see it as well as I do. That is some serious upside down snowstorm. Boo yeah! It, looking from my where I'm looking at, it's just freaking perfect, and it's holding up um, the head there quite nicely. Excellent carbonation, I can already tell. And my excitement, well, obviously I'm always excited to have a beer mail taste, something that somebody else has brewed. It is a unique opportunity. It doesn't present itself that often. Uh, and, <laughs> and usually it is from Jonas when, when I have this opportunity. So again, gazillion times, thank you for giving me this opportunity to taste your home brew. All right, so we have already established that th th there's a very nice carbonation. It holds up the head. It looks like perfect. And like I said, I'm very excited, but it's also that 
Uh, well, today is actually Thursday, but it's going to be a public holiday tomorrow, so it's kind of a Friday. Uh, it's 6 p.m. I just ended my working day, and this is now the first brew of the day, so it's going to be a violent experience when I dig into this. I'm getting a crane and a little bit of um, ethanol smell as well, and that's because this is a, this is a big boy. This is a 7% ABV. <laughs> so what a way to start the, the evening, if you will. Alrighty, that's my citra. Well, what can you say? Very simple. Um, I have brewed this uh, recipe from Jonas uh, two or three times, I think. Uh, it's excellent beer. So let's see how Jonas was able to uh, do this time. Um, wow. I will just... Alright, I will jump in. Oh, yes! <laughs> That's perfect. That's perfect. Wow. Uh, very similar what I have been uh, doing. Um, maybe a little bit drier than my version. Uh, I'm pretty sure that Jonas uses USO5 yeast, which I do as well. But obviously the fermentation conditions and whether he has uh, made a starter or whatnot, or, you know, there are small details that can affect uh, that how, how dry is it going to be. But it is excellent. Uh, congratulations, Jonas. It is uh, BSP homebrew quality, top notch. Excellent beer, and still it's holding on the head there, creating also a bit of a lacing there. Yep, yep. Don't mind about the Heineken print there. This is something way better. <laughs> um, it's also there's a better clarity than mine, but obviously this is also a beer where the clarity is not kind of a uh, just mentioning it, it's not important. Seven, but and you know, there, there's a hint of ethanol in the in the smell or in the scent of the beer, but you cannot taste it. Maybe it's ling lingering a little bit on the background, but it's definitely I could end this small puddle with one go. Uh, if somebody would ask me that I would just, you know, blindly would be tasting this beer without knowing anything about it, I wouldn't say, I wouldn't say that it's 7% ABV. I would say, I would say probably something 5 point, more than 5.5, .5, but I wouldn't go guessing above six, I think. Excellent, just excellent. And the taste, what could you expect from a top class smash beer? The hops are present there, moderate kind of drying of, of the mouth and tongue, certainly not bitter beer, everything is in balance. The Marisotter, it, there's uh, these kind of kooky kind of elements and, and grain. Uh, and while I say that this is drier than mine, it is certainly, it's not still a kind of a dry beer. So there are certain levels of sweetness as well to it. Very well balanced, everything. The ABV, 7%, the amount of hops, and the kind, kind of then the, 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 maltin of the uh, maltiness of the beer. Everything is in perfect balance. I mean, 
yeah, if I would be in a beer festival or visiting a public house and having a pint full of this, I would be a happy camper. So definitely above standard commercial craft beer here. So thank you. I will finalize this and uh, let's jump to the next beverage. Boom. So then uh, the next thing that we are going to taste, like I said, a beverage, I said, I didn't say beer. So what's in this uh, flip top bottle? Um, it is something called Klöck or Klöggi in Finnish. Um, it is a mullet wine, so heated wine, which has some Christmas spices like uh, cinnamon cloves and um, uh, orange peel and stuff like that. Quite a lot of the same spices, for example, found in uh, Christmas cookies. Don't know what Jonas has. I know that Jonas does cider uh, from apples. So it might be that this is actually a kind of apple wine based and then spiced with these spices. But let's have a, let's have a sniff sniff. Whoa, uh, yeah, it smells like Christmas to me. Cinnamon, definitely there. And this just warm, warm uh, coziness of Christmas. Um, I can also smell that it's going to be um, relatively sweet. Let's have a taste. Mmm, yummy. It is very sweet, but I know for a fact um, that if you do this type of drink without the heavy sweetness, it's not going to be very good. Very nice. Yet again, Jonas has hit the bullseye here. Yes, it's currently like minus 12 degrees Celsius outside. Though, so this really hits the spot. The gingeriness and all of that is just in perfect balance. And I think Jonas mentioned that he has been aging this for about two years or so. And it's, like I said, I don't know all the details how he has made this, but it's definitely completely without any kind of background uh, uh, of taste or anything. So it's it's very, very pure, very sweet, mm. just absolutely delicious. Traditionally, uh, in Finland at least, and I believe in Sweden as well, you would add some almonds here, peeled almonds and raisins also into the glass. Didn't have those so I need to uh, go naked here and just uh, sip it like this. Yes, this is very good. Sweet Christmasy nectar. <laughs> All right, cool. <laughs> I will enjoy this and, and then we will have a look at the beers that are brewed by a um, local brewery near where Jonas lives. So let's see what we have there then. We'll be back soon. To the next thing. All right. So we have two beers from this brewery called Opicords. The other one is a double IPA. The other one is Pale Ale. The double IPA, 8%. Jeez, Jonas. Woo. So I already warned the wife that I might be tipsy after filming this video. All right, let's start with the Pale Ale. I think that would be correct order of things. The pale ale is 5.6. Let's uh, crack her open. 
Alrighty. Comes nicely out of the can. Alright, bit of a light. There is carbonation, not as nice as in Jonas' own brew, but there is nice carbonation and it looks delicious. Head stays pretty nice, so upside down snowstorm is present. Can I get anything? All the way up to my nose. Uh, surprisingly fresh and hoppy um, smell to it, considering it's a um, um, da, 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 it is a uh, uh, commercial, um, but then again, it's usually the problem with the commercial beer is that the rotation from the actual bottling or canning day until it ends up into the bigger grocery store or whatnot, and then you know you are able to enjoy it. It's already so long ago when it's been made that a lot of the hop stuff has gone already but this being a brewery located near to Jonas he probably has had opportunity to um, get this directly from the brewery so that might explain some uh, actually it says some some in Finnish here as well so it probably means that these are available in Finland somewhere as well don't know, don't know. Probably because why would they print some finish here? Uh, and lose air some fruit for Svens corn malt oxtura mango America humble. So American hops uh, humble domin dominerar. Uh, so hop forward beer. Blah blah. Ah. Kashmir, Citra and Mosaic. Now, Kashmir is something that it's it's totally new for me. Hey, let's have a taste. Nam. Super fresh. Very light. Whoa. There's a bit of a hop punch at the end, but there is this kind of a Little bit of piney, piney thing on w when you first sip the beer. I'm kind of citrus there. Is it the Kashmir? I have I, I haven't really studied Kashmir, Citra and Mosaic. So most likely the citrusy or grapefruit is coming from uh Citra. Yeah, but there's certain kind of piney kind of a not a Simco thing, but uh, there's this is a definitely um, very fresh. Uh, hops are present, and you can taste the hop aroma already from the first sip. And there are kind of different layers of taste in the hop, so it will end up differently how it started. So, kind of a layered hop taste, which is always nice. Complexity, if you will. Very nice. The drinkability is very high. I'm already halfway through this. Um, uh, if this beer would be available for, for me, 
I would definitely buy this. Um, yeah, definitely a little bit better craft beer on my scale. And I'm very critical on these so-called craft beers. If there's a small brewery who is producing craft beer, it, it, it doesn't necessarily mean that it's good. For some reason, at least at some point, there was this kind of a craft beer equals excellent beer. No, no, it doesn't. Very fresh. Cool. The next one, double IPA. But let me enjoy this first. Norn Pelel. Thumbs up. All right. <clears throat> As the song says, baby, one more time. So, <clears throat> one more time. Dipa called Utah. Opicords Brewery. The sound full of promises. Let's see how those promises are fulfilled. All right. Uh, cloudy in a way that it's kind of a, looks a little bit like Napa, but looks can be deceiving. <clears throat> All right. Where's my light? Ooh. This has been a heavy, 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 heavy testing. Uh, I feel the effects of this. Um, yeah. All right, that looks nice, doesn't it? Very nice, actually. Uh, what about the carbonation? Oh, yeah. A lot of small bubbles. Looks very nice. All righty. <coughs> How's the nose department? I'm getting some pineapple there. Hmm. Let's see what does it say in the can. Bada boom boom boom. Stur aroma, uh, like a, a big aroma. Of a tropic fruit, tropic fruit. Ding ding ding. So that's the pineapple, uh, American uh, hops, blah, 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 melon, six oak, eight crader, arm juice. Hmm, is it trying to say that it's best served between six and eight degrees Celsius? Well, now it's a little bit colder, I think. Uh, barley, wheat, and oats. Well, the oats definitely explain the kind of the haziness of the beer. Definitely pineapple. Woof. This is a strong beer. How much was it? 8% APV. Woo! Well, you can taste that definitely. Um, the aroma gives you promises of, of the pineapple and, and this kind of tropical thing. But I think Sadly, the high ABV of the beer kind of leaves the aroma behind in the taste. So, very alcohol forward beer. 
just makes me think if this would be more of a let's say 5.8 ABV beer or 6.5 ish beer we might be getting more out of it as we are getting now Ooh, and I'm, I'm, I'm feeling the jeez very beautiful beer very nice aroma taste a little bit battered by the alcohol content but it's not well now I'm starting to get a little bit it actually might be that this is just a little bit too cold I'm kind of now sipping through the certain tropical thing starting to be noticeable maybe maybe so most likely when this warms up a little bit we are going to get a little bit more of the tropical fruit but it's it's heavy eight percent man that's that's quite a lot of alcohol but i do like <laughs> strong beers i'm not the opponent on that yeah but very interesting beer to taste Thank you, Jonas, BSP Homebrew. This has been uh, definitely a very nice Christmas present for me. And, and you know, to, to have the possibility to taste all of this and have the content on my channel for everyone who wants to see it. It's been a blast. And the only sad thing is that I don't know where, uh, where the, the BSP Homebrew pint is. It's probably uh, with the kids somewhere. Uh, but anywho, uh, you will be seeing that pint in my future videos. So what else is going to happen in the Apex Brew House? Um, planning to brew a new beer soonish. I have the Belgium Wit beer currently now uh, cold crashing. Uh, kind of little bit tempted to rebrew that and utilize the yeast cake that is in there but um, I want to taste the beer first because those who has been following my channel more know that I had some heavy equipment issues with the Belgium bit uh, the pump in my grandfather stopped working I, I couldn't uh, cool it down as, uh, as it was supposed to and blah blah so don't know how the beer is going to turn out maybe I can have a taste of it uh, tomorrow or latest on Saturday and then you know if everything seems fine with the beer um, kind of given the also the fact that the liquid yeast that's in there is quite expensive so I might be tempted to rebrew that and also there's the fact that the beer isn't what's now in the fermenter it isn't for me it is for my neighbor so that could also support this approach but let's see stay tuned if you haven't subscribed consider of doing that um, you know, nothing fancy here going on, just me explaining what is going on with my brewery and how I'm making beer and blah blah. So, um, tempted to actually to get some new equipment to my brewery, something that I could do a review video of some gadget or a fermenter or something like that. Let's see, let's see. Hey. Thank you for watching if you made it all the way here. Thank you again, Jonas and BSP Home Pro. Stay tuned. See you later. Boom.